Hey, what's up, broskies? So today we're gonna install horns on the truck. Uh, currently have one installed, but it's not actually wired. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new pigtail for that one. And I'm also, I already made the pigtail for the other one that I have. I have two 2017 WRX horns that I'm gonna go ahead and install in the truck. Uh, but yeah, but first I gotta take out what I need. All right guys, so here is one of the horns off of the WRX. I already made a pigtail for this one. Uh, so basically the horns I got them for free. The connector uh, set, I actually bought it off of a clip website for Subarus. So this is how it looks like when you order it. You have your housing. You have your rubber grommets and you have the pins. You do need a special type crimper, which is this one. It's a ratcheting crimper. It's special made for this type of uh, pin. But I'll show you guys how to put them together right now. Before I do proceed, uh, I know some of you are gonna ask what type of cable I use. I use 16 gauge. It's a uh, capability is 600 volts uh, you could go to any uh, machine wire shop or any electrical shop they should carry it uh, I like using these because I mean marine graded so they're pretty good I also use wire loom the heat, uh, fire retardant wire loom uh, for this type of application, I'll be using a quarter inch. Shouldn't be that hard, but yeah, let me proceed with getting this together. All right, so first things first, you gotta go ahead and grab some cable. It's up to you how long you wanna make this cable, but I like making it extra long because you never know, you might have to cut. So there we go, we got our cables cut. This is a wire stripper. It's 30 bucks on Harbor Freight. You're gonna have to figure out how far you gotta cut it. Usually it's not that much. Give or take, right about there. That's really all you need. Before cutting it, I would usually put this in first. That's pretty much it. Done deal. Alright, so once you have that crimp, you go ahead and grab your connector. Me, I color code my wires. White's for positive, negative is for ground. So, go ahead. Gotta make sure you have it the right way. So, you slide this forward. Right about there. Slide it in. There you go. You have your first connector in. Now let me do the second one. Slide it in. Then on this type of connector, it's a white lockout pin or a slider pin. Press that in. That's it. You made yourself a pigtail. Alright, so now that we have made two pigtails, one for this one horn that we have here, and this one is for the horn that's already installed in the truck. So, push my toolbox to the truck, and we'll start wiring this up. So I just went to the front and I checked to see where the horn wire is coming from and it's coming from the wheel well. So.
All right, so my bad, my camera died. Uh, but yeah, I finished. There's the wire harness that we made, the big tails. And it works. Let me show you guys. So the dash is all back together. All right, there's a horn button. There we go. So yeah, if you guys like the video or you guys want to see something else, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. If you guys want to throw me some hints as to what else you guys want to see, let me know. As for this, we're done and peace out.